Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to Curtis Corner. If you're new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner, and on today's Makeup Monday, we are going to review something from Profusion Cosmetics. I'm super excited. This came out last year, and I didn't end up being able to get it because it sold out like that. And I was very disappointed with how quickly that sold out because I wanted it. But now I finally got my hands on it, and we're going to review it. We're going to talk about it. It is the... Profusion X Mean Girls Collection. And this is like the, the yearbook, which is a full, full palette. We've got our Regulation Hottie uh, Cooling Face Mist. It's very tiny, but super, super affordable. And our highlighting and contouring palette called the You Glow Glen Coco Candy Gram 1 palette. So we're going to dive into these. Talk about the shades, see how they apply onto the skin. And uh, on top of that, I got some new brushes as well. Uh, I didn't order these. These were just sent by them inside of this little collection too. So thank you, Profusion. And um, yeah, if you're interested to hear my thoughts and see the look that I create, thank you for watching. Okay, so, as you see, I've got my base on so we can just focus on the products that I'm reviewing. So we're going to jump first into the You Glow Glen Coco Candy Gram palette first. Glen Coco? Fall for you, Glen Coco! You go, Glen Coco! And then, on the inside, it says, and maybe some for Gretchen Wieners, rather than, and none for Gretchen Wieners. And none for Gretchen Wieners, bye. So I'm going to remove this, which is sealed down. I kind of enjoy that. So as you can see, we've got three shades right here. They look absolutely wonderful. Uh, so the first shade, which is like a kind of gold highlighter shade, it's called Secrets. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. Um, then we have a shimmery blush. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this, but we're going to try it out anyways. And this is called Good Friend. I'm such a good friend. And then our bronzing shade is called Can't Sit With Us. You can't sit with us! So, we're going to dive into these. I'm going to jump in with my bronzer first. So I'm going to go in on this brush here. Um, there's no names for these brushes, but that's fine. Also, slight little update. I have been using the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics skincare line. What do we think of my skin so far? This is how it looks with some makeup applied to it. I noticed that around my nose area, it's still a bit dry, but I've always had extremely dry skin, so I just have to focus, I think, a little bit more on that area. But so far, the application of makeup looks pretty good. Anyways, there will be a video reviewing that entire process of that um, in a couple weeks. So. Stay tuned for that. But anyways, we're going to dip into Can't Sit With Us. It's very puffy, very powdery. Lots of kickback. Uh, and the shade is extremely light. Can you even see it on camera? I don't know. I don't know if you can see this on camera. I feel like you can. But now let's see if this is a buildable shade. We know it's light. But is it buildable? Oh, she is. She is a very buildable shade. That's good. So only like two dips. And it's like, it's giving me some color now. Okay. Okay, she's cute. She is cute. But I'm noticing where I'm kind of like putting this. And I'm just wondering, are you wanting me to try that like TikTok trend that's kind of going around where they use the TikTok filters to apply your makeup? Or would you rather just see like a YouTube short slash TikTok about that? Ooh, this side went on really quick. I think I used a bit more product. Um, let me know. Let me know what you would want. Cause uh, I'll do it. <laughs> it's very light shade though. So that's fine. Like I said, it's buildable. We can, Get it to where we need. I'm 
me it's cute it's cute and that I'm adding more powder I'm noticing not a lot of it is catching on any dry areas of my skin so that's really good like really 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 good okay just gonna get the nose oh in my eye okay by the way the brushes they feel nice i used um one of them for powder i just used that one for the contour so now we're going to go into this angled brush for the blush so here we go we're going to try this out not a lot of product is getting onto the brush though like digging <sighs> i mean this has to be like really packed down um blush hello <laughs> i'm gonna like hold the bristles so i can get more product on here i don't know if it's the product if it's the brush Okay, there's a little bit, but it's like, it's very faint, very, very faint blush. It's cute, but I wish it was a little more pigmented. You know what I mean? This is not what I was expecting. Like, I'm digging into this blush right now. You can see it more straight on, but when you turn, there's like nothing is kind of weird okay well i mean it's there you can see it it's kind of cute okay it's kind of cute i'm just gonna spritz my face i wanted to use this i haven't used this one in a while this is the watermelon sour patch kids one from morphe oh so yum like smells so good okay now we're gonna dip into secrets for our highlighter here. Whoa, -ho -ho! that was a lot of puffiness after. Okay, the highlighter is where it is at. We like this. That is so fetch. This is be a beautiful highlighter, but like, <laughs> So what do we think of that highlighter? I'm thinking, I'm thinking it looks good. Okay, so now let us jump in to the eye portion. All right, so here is the palette. There's a little open me tab that you can open it with. And then this is what it looks like. It is absolutely beautiful, okay? It's got every single like, color and shade that you absolutely need i'm gonna remove the protector just so that way you can get a better view of it so like i said this is what the palette looks like it is stunning and i'm absolutely here for it we have like there's three different formulas four actually four different formulas that are in here we have some mattes we've got some shimmers right here we've got some pressed glitters and this one right here i don't know if there's any other ones no don't look at me don't look at me it's kind of like a, a sequin satin one where it's a matte but it has some glitter just to make it kind of blend a little better so i already have a look planned out with this and i'm feeling because we're getting into the warmer weather i'm feeling a little like pink lemonade moment so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do some pink lemonade looking uh, looking makeup and you can't tell me no so i'm gonna be using my lunar beauty brushes i've got four brand new ones that were sent to me in a mystery box from lunar beauty so i'm gonna be using these so the first one i'm going in with is my lbe2 brush and i'm gonna go into the shade projection room and this is gonna go into the crease not a whole, I mean, there's kickback, but not a whole, 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 whole bunch. Very, very light in color. Maybe I'll go in with popular instead. I'm going to go into popular instead.
a little better. It's almost giving just like a little wash of color. The real test is going to be all like the, the actual like bright tones. But as of right now, two coats of popular is it's it's decent. It is decent. It's a, also a matte neutral shade. So it's really hard to kind of screw up a neutral matte shade. So now I'm going to dip into cool mom. So not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Which is that like hot, hot yellow shade. And this is going to go slightly above. This one has a lot more kickback, like a lot more. It's gonna be, I'm gonna go above and just kind of add that color that needs to be kind of seen. This is a nice yellow. It's showing up right away. Okay, good. That's what I like to see in a yellow is that it shows up right away because yellow is one of the harder shades to make, just like purples and reds. Those are really hard shades to make and this yellow looks pretty good so far. So far, so good. I'm gonna switch brushes now and I'm gonna go into the LBE3 brush. This one is gonna go into the shade Pink Shirt. On Wednesdays we wear pink. Woo hoo hoo! Like Regina George Pink. This is gonna go onto the outer corner here. Just kind of meet it up with that yellow. Okay. Dippy dip number three. That's kind of fun. Took a couple coats to get to a point that I like, but we got there. All right, I'm gonna go back in with my LBE3 and we're gonna just deepen that outer corner with Burn Book a little bit. Here, check it out, Katie. It's our Burn Book. Just a little. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my LBE4 and we're gonna go into the shade Awesome Time. Kind of like a, a oh, it's a very squishy shade. What is that? <gasps> Do you see what it looks like now? Like, it's just like, it's super squishy. So, okay, so I can't use it with my brush. <laughs> so I have to use it with my finger. So that's what we'll do. We're gonna go in with a finger. And it's just gonna go all over the lid. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is a magic, this, nope, mm-mm, we're done, game over, we all lose. This is a magical shade. It is like wet, but it is so stunning. What is this magic? This is sorcery. I feel like I should have put a shade down underneath, but I was not expecting it to be a shade like this, but I'm here for it. This is beautiful, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go in with the brush after to get like the tight areas that I'm kind of missing, but it is so nice. Look at that. That's stunning. Inner corner, we're gonna go in with buttered muffin. Is your muffin buttered? Would you like us to assign someone to butter your muffin? Which is just the light yellow that's right next to Cool Mom. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is gonna go inner corner. She is the moment. Yes, ma'am. Yes, she is. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Just a little extra more there. All right, I'm gonna finish the eyes off camera, apply some mascara and a lip, and I will be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, everything is on. I'm going to give this a Seems like an aggressive spritzer. Let's try it out. Oh my God. Oh, it is an aggressive mister, but kind of smells like spearmint. 
I'm not hating it. So, this is the final look. What do we think? I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's fun. It's definitely giving off summer vibes. I'm not over the lid shade. Okay, so here's my thoughts. The You Glow Glen Coco palette. Um, highlighter, bomb AF. The bronzer is, it's cute, but I think it needs a little more work. Um, the blush is not for me. Like I said, you can see it straight on, but you wanna be able to see a blush all the way around uh, from every angle and I can't see it. Can you see it from the side? Like I, I just, I just can't see it from the side. I can only see it when I look dead on. Uh, and that's not what I want in a blush, personally. I think it's a cute concept. Everything about it is nice. The face mist, it doesn't say that it does anything to set your face in place. It just, it's, it seems like it's just to cool you down, which is fine. It's fine. It smells nice. Um, the mister is a bit of an aggressive one, but otherwise... It's fine. The palette, now, while I only used uh, a few shades in here, the shades that I also, oh yeah, by the way, I dipped into Lesbian Crush. I've got a big lesbian crush on you. <laughs> Suck on that! <laughs> to just put a small hint on top of the uh, butter muffin. But out of the shades that I did use, I think it's fun. I think they work well. They blend nicely. Yeah, I do wish, though, had I have known that this was, like, a squishy consistency, I wish I would have put, like, that So Fetch on the lid first and then gone over it with Awesome Time, but it is what it is, and um, this is a moment. So, those are my thoughts. It, it, I mean, if you want to go and get these products, do it. It's affordable. Like, this palette, this palette's only $20, Okay. $20 US, uh, which is about like 30 bucks Canadian. It's cute, it's iconic, it's a moment, um, and you can create some fun looks with it. So yeah, so that's my thoughts on the Profusion by Mean Girls collection. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this look, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out weekly videos and hit that notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video because if you don't, how else are you gonna know when I post a video? You won't, so do it. I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna go and start a marathon of Johnny Depp movies because hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. Team Johnny all the way. Uh, Amber Heard can leave any moment. Don't forget to check out yesterday's video that I posted. Um, it's fun if you're into horror movies and stuff like that. I ranked the horror movies of the 80s that I have seen. Um, I've also done another two ranking videos as well, which are going to be linked in that video as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, please go check it out. But otherwise, I will see you all on Friday for a brand new video. But until then, goodbye friendships.